Good morning, everyone. This is the Merama side from the Meridian. Actually called the Red Stand. Can't change the name and expect people to follow, can you? This is a new habit that uh, Francis has pushed me into. And that is, come out early in the morning for a nice walk. On this lovely island, man-made. At the uh, Ritz Carlton Hotel. Walk about maybe, I don't know, uh, five kilometers or something in about an hour and a half. Not bad, can go at a good clip. Hopefully, it'll get something out of it. The whole skyline of Banama is changing day by day. Of course, the rest of the dish is what you see in front of you, which is the uh, double twin towers. The closer one is the Bahrain Financial Harbour, and the one further on are the uh, twin towers, or at least the Bahrain World Trade Center. The gap in between those two buildings um, is not filled yet, but they want to put air turbines in there to generate about 30% of their electricity needs for that building. Let's see how that goes. One of the reasons I started coming here is uh, trying to learn some gardening tricks uh, from the people at the Ritz. Unfortunately, I was a bit disappointed because all you see here are the very, very basic kind of plants and screens. We've got plenty of petunias, um, and uh, palm trees, a few bougainvillea uh, thrown around, uh, plenty of uh, trees that will provide screening, either from the wind or for privacy. But apart from that, you don't see anything that is breathtaking. You've got a huge area, fantastic potential to really do something out of it. But I guess, in their defense, it's not... Uh, it's a place for business, okay, you relax a little bit, you attract more customers. If you had uh, spent a little bit more time uh, in designing better gardens and better environment. Uh, they used to have a nice aviary with uh, some macros and parrots and uh, Amazonian kind of birds. Uh, that's been ripped up and an extension to Trade of Rix is where it's actually being built now. It's just such a shame. The lagoon, both the fresh water and the lagoon with the salt water, are fantastic. Very nice, sandy beaches and all that. Hardly anybody comes here. I think even on Friday, it's not really that crowded. It's not that expensive to actually get a membership. Um, I think they've put up the price now. It's about 800 dinars, which is about $2,500, something like that a year, for a family membership, which is not too bad. But uh, anyway, back to the gardening bit. They could have spent a little bit more time and effort in uh, designing it in a way to show off the place quite nicely. Even around the chalets, they have made an attempt. They've got some various plants and things, but they're, all you get is just uh, the uh, Gazinia hybrids, and you've got the, uh, some frangipanis, uh, and obviously a lot of palm trees. Uh, some screw pine, a little bit of ferny kind of stuff, but uh, nothing awe-inspiring, which is such a shame. I mean, if you look at this, this is a good spot to have a look. Look, these are on the uh, right-hand side of the chalets, and then on the beach, all you get is the Vitex, and you get Bougainvillea right in the middle of the Vitex tubs that they've created. And uh, maybe about 100, 200, 300 uh, palm trees. But nothing really that would draw you really in, unfortunately. To give you an idea of what a, one of these chalets look like as far as their gardens are concerned, I'm a little bit closer. You're going to agree, yes, I've made some kind of attempt here. But nothing that is, I mean, Look at this, overgrown screw pine all over the place. We got Vitex, 
at the bottom of the screen. And you've got various other bits and pieces, but that's nothing much really. It's such a shame, isn't it? Or standard gazanias and then petunias. And these are nice um, ferns. Don't really exactly know what they are. I'm thinking of getting some for there, for my garden as well. I think these chalets are being rented for a thousand dinars a night. At least that's what I've heard the last time. I don't know how much they are now. I, everyone's really, every single one is enclosed. Self-sufficient, they've already even got their own pool and they're overlooking their own lagoon. Nice, nice way to spend the weekend, I think.